Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the important topic regarding the concept of epithelial mesenchymal transition, which is about the cancer invasion metastasis. So first of all, we talk about the two terms. That is uh, main important uh, terminology that is invasion and metastasis. What is mean by invasion? It is refers to the direct extension and penetration of cancer cells into the neighboring tissues. What is mean by metastasis? It is a spread of a tumor from the primary site to a secondary or distant site, which is discontinuous from the primary tumor. Invasion metastasis constitute the important hallmarks of the malignancy. So the, this is about the pictorial representation uh, how a uh, cell uh, talk about the invasion metastasis. So first of all, a cell which detached from the neighboring cells migrate to the surrounding tissue, it enter the bloodstream, exit the bloodstream and proliferate to produce the mass. This is about the malignant cell, how it uh, migrate from one side to another side, that is the metastasis. So in order to develop migratory behavior, epithelial cells acquire properties that come close to those of mesenchymal cells. This phenomenon is called as epithelial mesenchymal transition, that is EMT. Uh, coming to the, uh, talking about characteristics of epithelial cells, epithelial cells are characterized by strong intercellular adhesive interactions which play a role in the maintenance of the continuous cell layers. They contain the specialized membrane domains which include basal domain, lateral domain and apical domain to maintain the strong intercellular adhesive interactions. So in the pictorial different this is the pictorial representation which shows the apical, basal domain, lateral domain and adherent junctions and outside the cell is the extracellular matrix. So this is this is the con concept and this is the important terminology which I to remember about the epithelial cells which maintain the strong intercellular adhesions. <coughs> so this is about the uh, what is meant tight junction, adher adherent junctions, gap junctions. So this is about entirely about the uh, epithelial cells. So coming to the individual uh, parts of the epithelial cells which maintain the intercellular adhesion, basal domain, it interacts with the basement membrane. This is morphologically reflected in hemidesmosomes that form between the basal domain and the basement membrane. A laminin phi mediates the adhesion of the base adhesion this basement basal domain to the base membrane through interaction with the integrins and the next one is about the lateral domain which is responsible for keeping the epithelial layer impenetrable and it is characterized by presence of the junctional complexes desmosomes gap junctions remember the e cadherin it plays a dominant role in the junctional complexes e cadherin cadenin complex links the cell membrane to the cytoskeleton coming to the after talking about the basal domain and lateral domain and coming to the apical domain its characteristics depends upon the functional needs of the cell example is the enterocyte with breast water which is essential for resorptive activity of the cell all these attributes li limit the mobility of the cells as a rule epithelial cells do not move around then uh, we talk about the characteristics of the mesenchymal cells these cells do not form continuous sheets, but they do make connections and may form a loose network which they fill with the extracellular matrix. The cells are also potentially mobile with the cytoskeleton composed of y mentin When mobile when they mobile they develop the cytoplasmic extensions called the philopodia. Migration is the result of interaction between the migrating cells and the extracellular matrix. So what is the um, what is mean by epithelial cell plasticity? So this is the term uh, which describes the ability of the epithelial cells to dynamically switch between different phenotypic cellular states. It is seen both under physiological and pathological conditions. Physiologically, plasticity is seen during embryonic development, and uh, pathological plasticity is seen during wound healing, fibrosis, and in cancer. wound healing after damage a re-establishment of competent epithelial layer needs proliferation and differentiation of epithelial cells which is a time taking process a rapid recovery is favored by migratory behavior of resident epithelial cells 
so whenever there is injury to epidermis this assembly of adherence junction occurs each adherence down regulation occurs so i mean up regulation occurs which leads to the activation of cytoskeleton and cell migration occurs so this is the process when there is a wound healing chronic inflammatory conditions the chronic inflammatory conditions they end up with diffuse fibrosis of the parenchyma this is caused by the myofibroblasts that deposit extracellular matrix proteins making up the fibrotic tissue it is now believed that these myofibroblasts are derived from the epithelial cells itself chronic inflammation induces production of growth factors like uh, transform growth factor beta epithelial growth factor and fibroblast growth factor 2 all of which are capable of inducing epithelial mesenchymal transition so coming to the cancer transform the epithelial cells in a carcinoma maintain a multicellular organization they form a cohesive cell masses which is a morphological hallmark of epithelial differentiation in a malignant tumor in adenocarcinomas the characteristic polarity of glandular epithelial cells is lost the characteristic polarity of glandular epithelial cells is lost along with a decrease in the density of adherence junctions along with a decrease in the density of adherence junctions in certain types of carcinoma cytoskeletal might change with the emergence of y maintain filaments and active actin filaments laminin 5 is no longer deposited extracellularly laminin 5 is no longer deposited extracellularly proteinases involved in the dis- dissolution of extracellular matrix which include the matrix metalloproteases which are expressed here epithelial plasticity is bidirectional once the invasion of metastatic cells has reached this target site it transform back into the epithelial cells so epithelial mesenchymal transition occurs and mesenchymal to epithelial transition occurs this is called as mesenchymal epithelial transition at a molecular level e cadder is is upregulated adherence junctions are re established cytoskeletal changes to resting state hemidesmosomes are formed so what are the cellular modifications associated with epithelial mesenchymal transition in vitro morphologically and functionally stellate or spindle cells show resistance to anoikos increase in migration invasion to into collagen matrix down related proteins are egadherin cytoskeletin acolodin claudin up related proteins are encadherin vimentin snivon snido twist matrix matter proteases 239 integrin alpha b beta 6 activated proteins are interleukin gsk3 beta rho nuclear expression proteins are beta catenin spat 23 snail 1 snail 2 and twist so signal pathways involved in epithelial mesenchymal transition first we talk about the microenvironment epithelial mesenchymal transition is induced by stimulating factors in the microenvironment these factors include the extracellular matrix molecules growth factors and ligands of wind to notch and akt pathways constitutively activating mutations in the receptor or downstream in the signaling molecules which are involved in the epithelial mesenchymal transition second transforming growth factor beta studies show that inhibitors of the transforming growth factor beta or transforming growth factor beta receptors decrease the invasive and metastatic capacity of cells through inhibition of emt TGF beta 1 is expressed in sites of fibrosis and can and in cancer stroma one of the key molecules involved in epithelial mesenchymal downstream of TGF beta is twist coming to SNI1 SNI2 interaction of FGF EGF or HGF with their respective receptor terracin kinases inactivates membranes of small GTPS families which are RAS RO and RAC and this subsequently leads to the SNI1 SNI2 production Phosphorylation of SNI1 allows its translocation to the nucleus to downregulate E cadherin expression. Remember SNI1 try to also upregulate the vimentin and activate contractile apparatus. E cadherin complex interactions between the signaling pathways during EMT lead to downregulation of the E cadherin expression which lead to disassembly of junctional complexes which lead to beta catenin translocation to nucleus and activation of wind pathway and this signals directly to the integrins so mainly the e cadherin is important in concept of the epithelial mesenchymal transition integrins beta 1 integrin transform of beta induce the signaling 
beta 1 and beta 3 extracellular matrix induced signaling which in turn downloads e adenine expression through ILK activation beta 1 integrins activates rho a and rac 1 in valine adhesion complex disassembly so this is about the how the e cadenin down regulation leads to the epithelial mesenchymal transition how the cadenins actins play important role and uh, maintaining in not maintaining its uh, functioning and leading to the epithelial mesenchymal transition in a cancer cell so we talk about some stem cell properties studies conducted on colorectal cancer show striking alterations in pattern of beta cadenin expression the center of the cancer tumor cells are held together by ecadenin whereas the at the side at the invasive front there is loss of ecadenin expression in the center beta cadenin expression is membranous which becomes cytoplasmic and nuclear at the invasive front nuclear expression of beta cadenin associated with acquisition of stem cell properties by the cancer cells only the cells that have clonogenic potential are capable of giving rise to sustained cell proliferation of the metastatic site at least a fraction of the cells capable of EMT must therefore have stem cell properties. Role of EMT in the diagnosis and treatment of cancer. Diagnosis, immunohistochemistry chemistry markers can be used to detect, uh, detect the expression of molecular markers of invasion. External matrix molecules like collagen, laminin, integrins in E-cadarin, b cadenin can be used for the diagnostic purpose. IHC of EMT involved molecules can also be used to predict the metastatic behavior. Treatment specific antagonists are being developed against key molecules in the process of invasion metastasis. Example cystatin C to inhibit the epithelial mesenchymal transition breast cancer. Sensitivity to these new agents can be predicted through AHC detection of the expression of the involved molecules. So we talk about some data method about this. Under physiological conditions, epithelial cells there is a formation of multicellular masses, immobility, cytoskeletal composed of cytokratin, testing phase, specialized plasma membrane domains. Under pathological conditions, there is a dissolution of adhesion junctions, down relation of figadarin, cytoskeletal composed of vimentin, and metagratin behavior, which can lead to the epithelial losing of its characteristics and behaving as a mesenchymal cell. Remember, in this important point, is the down regulation of figadarin plays an important role in a epithelial mesenchymal transition. EMT and MET do not represent a linear shift. Cancer cells in the invasive front that have undergone EMT may express beta catenin in the nucleus, which migrate, which might be a hallmark of the tumor cell properties. EMT associated molecules will increase in importance as markers for prediction of prognosis and response to targeted therapy. Thank you.